huge supporter of women. What I'm not a supporter of is liberalism. Feminism is what I oppose. Feminism has led women astray. I love the women's movement, especially when walking behind it. Rush Limbaugh, responding to criticism that he is sexist. The average American household has more television sets than people. Seems like we're too willing to be so rhetoric over TV dinners and soak up stereotypes and radio waves. But just because dehumanizing people is legal doesn't mean we should. We may have the right to free speech, but we also have the right to remain silent. It's easy to objectify our peers when we slap labels on them. Liberal and conservative, towel heads and gangbangers. It's impossible to compromise with something less than human. Hard to count your blessings with a clenched fist. We're holding onto our anger like we're trying to prove how tough we are. But talk radio isn't about what you're saying. It's, it's about the ratings. And responsibility isn't important when you factor in profitability. Just ask your favorite pundit. Look, let me put it to you this way. The NFL all too often looks like a game between the Bloods and the Crips without any weapons. There, I said it. Rush Limbaugh. Our media is filled with bigots. There, we said it. Why is the only way we can make ourselves comfortable by filtering the world through color-specific lenses? Now you stand but divide our news networks. It's, it's easy to scare when you're just ranting at a camera, but Limbaugh, you're a coward. Beck, O'Reilly, Matthews, Oberman, you're all cowards who are trying to terrorize your way into a paycheck, polarizing politics until we're all silenced. But maybe the weight of our words can make a balance. I get most terrified when sitting in front of the microphone. Stage fright doesn't make my hands shake, it's the power based in the words I'm about to say. If your voice doesn't make you a little nervous, then you're doing something wrong. Because what we say has the power to change the way people live. Our voices give us the strength to question reality. Don't allow yourself to be shocked in submission. Our airways have become war zones. My fields of violent references that leave us longing for no, longing for no man's land. Don't you remember what you learned in kindergarten? Sharing is caring. Unless it's socialism. <laughs> I never really learned which is which, but when compromise becomes a bad word, we all lose. It's hard to let go of your anger to mistake it for your dignity. Why do we think we can keep waging wars overseas when all we want to do back home is fight for our First Amendment right to sling slurs? This is not about weapons of mass destruction. Violence can be verbal. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean internal injuries aren't so fatal. Look around. Sometimes speech is the sharpest blade. Sarah. In 2011, Senator Gabrielle Giffords was shot in the head. Many people blame Sarah Palin for putting crosshairs over the victim's district. So why do we blame an individual with the words terrorist, target, and bloodbath are some of the most common phrases thrown around by both sides of the political spectrum? I mean, poets are accustomed to double meaning, so pay attention to the diction in your day-to-day -day lives. Annotation can carry consequences. We are much more than the categories we've been tossed into. You are not a fag, an alien, or a lost cause. You are more complex than your complexion or sexual orientation. You're not a plank in the party platform, so treat your rhetoric wisely. Our words can be deadly. Don't fire off discrimination so blindly. I don't care what your opinion is. Recognize propaganda on both sides. Don't let yourself be victimized. Your voice is a weapon, so how will you choose to use it? Nice.